This weekend will be the first of free monthly performances that will bring the Mexican culture to Las Cruces. Jacob Prado, Consulate General of Mexico, says there has been a lot of interest in the event. We started our cultural program in collaboration with the city of Las Cruces last year, and the response has been amazing. Uh, we uh, brought, uh, uh, you know, a group of a quartet, which is uh, probably the best quartet that Mexico has right now, and uh, the theater was completely packed. And then we brought a, a circus show and uh, lots of kids, of course, but also the, the uh, again the auditorium was uh, completely booked. So we are very happy with the response of the of the people here in Las Cruces. Las Cruces Mayor Ken Miyagashima says there are a lot of people in the city who want to see events like this. We have a lot of residents that, that are either from Mexico, have relatives who live in Mexico, or just like the Mexican culture. And I think this uh, lends itself to enhancing that relationship. It's very important that we have that relationship with Mexico as, as for those of the residents who, who do want to interact with the Consul General of Mexico, I think it's very important. So this just lends itself to on so many different factors. Uh, both from a cultural standpoint, from a business standpoint. Prado says that you can learn a lot about Mexico through these cultural performances. Mexico is a country with more than uh, 3,000 uh, years of history, more than 3,000 years of culture. And uh, we are at the same time at the forefront of our many artistic movements in the dance, in uh, music, in literature. So we are hoping that uh, by bringing, you know, these groups, these performers, we are conveying a message that uh, Mexico is not only that, uh, the, the news that we can sometimes hear or see on t TV, but we have this background, this huge history that supports our people. Mayor Miyagashima says these events bring more than just culture to Las Cruces. Consul General Prado has done a fantastic job since he's come here in the last uh, couple of years and uh, we've worked well with him and we like to see it continue. We think that this is a great thing not only for just the residents but it also just brings uh, economic development here to the city as well. The first performance is by the Esperanza Azteca Symphony Orchestra and Chorus and Prado says it is something you don't want to miss. It is a, a group that was formed in 2010 in uh, Ciudad Juarez uh, their members, the musicians, the performers, are uh, kids from uh, 5 to 17 uh, years of age. And uh, they are going to be performing, uh, of course, classic music, but also some other uh, Latin American music. It is going to be fun. The concert will be held tomorrow at Oñante High School Auditorium at 3 p.m. Tickets are free and will be first come, first serve. For KRWG... I'm Samantha Sonner.